what's going on y'all it is your boy Zeno Martinez here and today it was revealed that Edo Minato will be the first DLC we will receive for season 6 and surprisingly he is a defense type Based on my predictions, I had a feeling that the defense class was going to start off the season, but I wasn't sure who the DLC was going to be, and I certainly was not expecting it to be Minato. Based on the scan that we received, which was translated by my friend Gemini, it appears that the only technique to have his name revealed is a secret technique, which is called Space Time Flying Thunder God Technique. In its description, the technique is described as an ninjutsu that uses rapid attacks that combine Shadow Clone and Flying Raijing no Jutsu. Use Kunai with spells to move to the target's position, empowering your allies during your travel. In the description, it was also revealed that you can terminate this technique at any time, but it is not clear as to what the buffs are for your allies. In my Discord, Gabs revealed that they believe that this technique will look similar to that of Edo Minato's ninjutsu in Naruto Boruto Ninja Voltage, which is a mobile game. Here you can clearly see how the technique uses both the Shadow Clone and Flying Raging techniques to deal damage to your opponent. In addition to the secret technique, the other two ninjutsu were revealed in the scan, with the first technique showcasing a dome-like shape that apparently creates a barrier to nullify enemy ranged attacks for a set period of time and strengthen allies. In its description, it appears that this technique will provide your allies with a defensive and ninjutsu cooldown buff while reducing your opponent's ninjutsu cooldown while they are within the technique's range. Like Holy Materia, I believe that this technique will have similar properties to Sukuna Hikona, but I wonder if it would only nullify a technique shot within the barrier or those aimed outside of it. Either way, I think that this will be a great addition to the defense class and I'm so excited to see how it looks in game, especially on base battle. The last technique for the DLC appears to be like that of Flying Raijin level 2, and it is described as an ninjutsu that uses a surprise attack that applies the technique of Flying Raijin. Looking at the scan, you can see that as a defense type, you will be able to throw out about 7 kunai at a time, but I'm curious about whether or not Shadow Clones will be utilized with this technique. Meaning that if I throw out 7 kunai and strike all 4 opponents, will I only teleport to the first person struck or all opponents hit? Let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on this technique as well as Minato's entry into Season 6 as a defense type. One of the first things I thought about when seeing the scan is that there are now only 7 reanimated Kages left that could be used for these special ninjutsu packs being released later this year. Some of the members of my discord, Gabs in particular, believe that Ero Hashirama may be released as the healer DLC for this season, leaving Kaguya to end the season as our highly anticipated range DLC. If that is the case, then that means that we can expect the other 6 remaining Kages who were reanimated during the war arc to be our special ninjutsu packs or DLCs for this year. Personally, I am tired of reskins. And I am so ready for Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker to begin to prioritize characters within the Naruto verse who have not been released in the game. I mean, in my ideal world, the reskins would be saved as special ninjutsu packs so that players can be excited about new characters, new combos, new rewards, new ninjutsus, and an overall fresh experience.